What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. I hope your work week is off to a good start. And if you're at work and you need something to get your mind off of work, let's get into this previously unseen footage of Michael Darby from the Real Housewives of Potomac allegedly grabbing a cameraman's behind at Monique's rainbow party. And I want to shout out El Simone, Rachel Duvall, and Jess BUTV for being the first few people to comment on my last video. And thank you to all of my subscribers for getting me to 250,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all tuning into my channel and keeping this party going. Even when I'm not feeling well and can't make videos every day, y'all still come through and watch my old videos, so thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. There's nothing but space and opportunity between you and that subscribe button, so go ahead and knock it out. Okay, so this is why all season long, Candace has been claiming that Michael Darby was crying fake tears with Ashley at the rainbow party because she knew about this particular incident because her husband, Chris, had been subpoenaed as a witness and there was footage of it just like she said there was. We're gonna take a look at the footage and then break it down because it goes by pretty fast. So I'm gonna slow it down for you and we're gonna get into it. Alternative, and you probably would have had a little rainbow in the sky if it was raining anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 but then the, the band wouldn't have been able to be out there. Hey, bud, all right. Hey, bud, all right. Please don't do that. Okay, don't do that. All right, no. The first scene of Monique and Ashley talking is shot by cameraman A, and cameraman A is not the alleged victim. Cameraman B is the alleged victim. Okay, so the next scene is shot by cameraman B, and this is the actual footage of the incident. This is what everybody's been looking for. The cameraman was recording during the incident, just like I was thinking all along, because he is a cameraman. And he did get the audio of the incident on film. However, because the incident actually happened behind him, Michael allegedly grabbed his butt, he came up behind him. Of course, he didn't get footage of that on film. In Cameraman B's video, we see him first wipe off his camera lens and walk outside to film. Most of the cast is outside and you can see that he is walking toward the cast to film. Then you hear Michael Darby walk up behind him giggling and Michael says, hey bud, and presumably and allegedly, this is when he grabs his butt at the same time that he's saying, hey bud. And from there you hear the cameraman react and tell Michael not to do that. And Michael says, okay. So in my opinion, Michael agreed that he did do something right then and there. He didn't just say, hey bud, his response shows that he did something and he agreed to not do it again. Hey, 
Last is cameraman C's footage where someone is confronting Michael about grabbing his behind and Michael says, I didn't grab your butt. Michael Darby had said in an interview that the footage that cameraman C shot is actually a cousin of one of the castmates pretending to be cameraman B so that Bravo can get footage of Michael being confronted about grabbing cameraman B's behind. And that basically is a fake scene, which makes sense since it appears that cameraman B left the party after Michael allegedly grabbed him. Y'all saw him after that incident happened, y'all saw him turn around and head back indoors. It appears he left the party and according to reports, he quit the show the next day. So Bravo was allegedly trying to create footage of the confrontation after the alleged victim had left the party. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of this footage. To me, it looks like it does prove that Michael likely did grab this man's butt and he literally agreed not to do it again. And it seems like the man was so upset by it that he left the party and then the next day he quit the show. So clearly something happened that upset him and unfortunately he wasn't able to prove his case in court, which is the case with a lot of victims of assault. But like the lady said, just because the case was dismissed doesn't mean it didn't happen. Anyway, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts after seeing footage of the incident. As always, thanks for watching. Attention YouTubers, you've asked and I'm delivering. I'm sharing with you step by step my secrets to making money on YouTube. And my free guide, How to Make Money on YouTube, is the first step to learning exactly what to do to make money on YouTube. So go to my new website, howtomakemoneyonyt.com to download your copy today. The link is here on the screen, it's in the description box, and it's in the comments, so you can't miss it.